Hello friends, uh, Kaylin here, getting ready to head off, and uh, I'm praying to God I did not forget anything, Freaking, I know I did. Sorry if I'm kind of weird right now, this is, this is intense, it's exciting. Just hope everything will be okay. <laughs> so yeah, off we go. I guess I've always been an outdoor romantic at heart. So naturally when I set off on a 270 mile, 18 day solo high traverse this year in Nevada mountains, I assumed I'd return with a completely new take on life and some grand expansive view of the universe in which we dwell. Ironically, what I learned was something that I was already quite aware of. Turns out I just needed 270 miles of off trail terrain, 18 days of solitude, a handful of panic attacks, constant moments of questionable decision making, and the highest highs and lowest lows to really drill at home. Here we are, finally starting. I'm uh, finally out here in the mountains and started the journey, so I'm stoked. And it's already so beautiful and so amazing. And I'm excited to see what camp looks like tonight. So uh, yeah. Welcome to the, welcome to the trip. Yeah. I've always been the type of person that has big dreams. I start to work towards them and then half the time I just get lazy or distracted and I dismiss them. This hike had been one of those until finally I just did it. Just like that. Day one camp spot is established and it does not suck. Check it out. The hardest thing sometimes in the pursuit of our goals is to just pull the trigger and to just start. This is where I woke up. <laughs> totally sucks. Super lame. Whatever. gonna get the first look of the range and this sort of mass expanse. So here we go, I'm pretty excited. It's like a little kid on Christmas. We do. Ah, ha, ha, ha. This is home for the next 18 days, guys. Yeah. My mom always encouraged me to be myself. I think the hardest thing has always been figuring out who that was. She taught me to pursue all things with courage, conviction, love, and a sense of humor. Can't believe there's a trail here. Ha! Pretty amazing where we humans travel. <laughs> with this hike, I wanted to feel wild and free. I think a lot of us do. I think we've just lost our wild woman. But I'm here to find her. Class that never ends. It's wrapped up some fun class two, three moves. Now I can see the top. <laughs> Just when I thought I was over the pass, this thing fucking rears its ugly head around the corner. Hello, little friend. <laughs> Working my way up this pass, and the second time I've done this, I always end up in the slightly harder route than what I could have gone up. And it, gets, it gets frustrating. <laughs> I mean, they, they both go, but I could have definitely made it easier on myself going that way, but instead I decided to go this way. Hopefully, by the end of this trip, I'll stop doing this shit. <laughs> well, up we go. I'm 
I've never actually been alone this long. Nor have I ever come close to this type of mileage or off-trail navigating. I'm in this amazing, amazing place. Probably my favorite spot I've been. It's just, I mean, the light is full pink right now. I've got this amazing little nook. And every part of me just wants to stay here for another day. Through hiking is cool and, and, you know, covering this kind of ground is amazing, but it's really, really hard to tear away from some place like this. I wish I could just do a layover day here or something. <sighs> no, but I gotta get up extra early tomorrow. <laughs> When I say I had panic attacks, I did. Maybe not to the point where I needed a brown paper bag or a straitjacket, but most nights I spent roughly 30 to 40 minutes in my sleeping bag, thinking about tomorrow and trying to get my heart rate down. So, day number five. Um, it's supposed to be kind of a mellower day, sort of recovery day. The mileage wasn't as big, but uh, <laughs> The reality is, uh, I've definitely made my days pretty big, to the point where I'm getting a little nervous. Um, my resupply is in a spot that requires... But, uh, I'm gonna keep motoring and, um, try and push past where I meant to go today, gain a few extra miles and then uh, hopefully get to my resupply tomorrow. But I have to get to it, otherwise I'm gonna run out of food, so. It's kinda of bummer though. <laughs> you know, I really wanted to experience this place, but I feel like I've just been head down, just motoring. You know, I haven't really been able to stop and enjoy it, but um, Well, there's no sense in lying here. Time to get walking. Being out here, I was surrounded by nothing and I was doing nothing. I mean that in a societal sense. The things around me were not telling me how to dress, act, think, feel. My daily pursuits were purely done out of joy and in no way benefited anyone but myself. What color are these plants? And I realized just how much I'd tried to shape my personality into this cookie cutter idea of what an outdoor female adventurer should behave and appear like. Ah yes, the classic be yourself idea, preached in fancy Instagram quotes, bumper stickers, and lectures from mom. Instead of discovering our own self, we puzzle together a handful of different ideas of who we think we should be and end up not really knowing who the hell we actually are. Now, this doesn't mean you have to run off into the woods, stop shaving your legs, and throw away your makeup. More power to you if you do, though. You know what I love about backpacking? Not this. <laughs> uh... What this means, and what I learned on my trip, is to pursue your wild woman, and don't be intimidated by your discovery. middle grass sections where I want to go. When in doubt, follow the grass. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Ah. Yep, change of plan. Hopefully I'm not shooting myself in the foot again. Instead of there, I'm gonna go just to this right side kind of section before the boulders. That was a bit more lit. Supplies 
right down there. Fucking it, I fucking did it. Ah! Oh my god. Yes, I fucking did it. I fucking did it. Ah! Oh yeah, I'm all alone. Oh my god. Fuck yeah, dude. I could wear Kaylin. <laughs> Got the waterworks happening right now. I just made it over my last pass before my resupply. And it's, you know, it's two o'clock. Like, ah, <laughs> oh, I can't get um, it. Two days ago, I, I didn't even think this was gonna be possible. I was already trying to figure out ways to where I could bail out or, or what I would do if I couldn't make it to my resupply. I hoarded some food, you know, and, and then the whole overwhelming idea of like, holy shit, I still have, you know, 14 some odd days of this and I'm already behind. And, <coughs> fuck, now I'm here, my resupply, right over there. And I'm just really happy, I'm really, really happy right now. <laughs> good tears, good tears. <laughs> I got a tennis thing off, it's gonna get worse. <laughs> okay, so I just blubbered for a few minutes, as you just saw. But I think it's about time for one of these. Selfie sticks. I'm not very good with these. Let's see. Does that look okay? Do I look good? How's the hair? Goggles. Oh, I'm in the middle of fucking nowhere. <laughs> it's insane. Out here, there isn't really a greater gift than the ability to just move. You know, I think we need that. We need the ability to detach. In those moments where we're not connected to anything, where we're not rooted, where we're just feathers floating and landing where we may. And to live just a little bit of a loose and impermanent life. I could have both my arms, but no, no. The selfie is so much more important. Come on. You know, even with those unbearable lows, I had the sweetest highs I've ever felt. Woo! We're talking screaming, hands in the air, crying, <sighs> shouting to the universe, holy shit, life is amazing kind of highs. <laughs> Get any more beautiful than this? I don't know. It's ridiculous. Like, it's overwhelming. Those kind of highs. Damn it. <laughs> I discovered a confidence in myself I never knew I had. And I wondered what else I'd put off or dreamed of doing that was either too lazy or lacked the confidence for. I guess sometimes you just have to head out there and try. Last evening in the Sierra. It's, uh, it's kind of nothing almost. I mean that in the best sense. It's. I'm not overjoyed to be done. I'm not sad to be leaving. I'm not, you know, this emotional wreck. I just feel very at peace right now, very calm, and even more so, really grateful. I really felt like I was being guided and, and taken care of out here by just the spirit of this place. So, thank you for following along. <laughs> Thank you. 
the spirit of this place. Very, very the priceless lessons that I've learned and will continue to learn and will carry with me for the rest of my life. the whole trip. Right down there is the end. 270 some odd miles later. 18 days. Hell run. <laughs> it's not like big fireworks and medals or anything like that. The beauty of hiking is you finish. It's a different person than when you started, but you finish calmly, peacefully, with a new perspective on life. And that, that is a reward. <laughs> Humble endings, my friend. Humble endings. Woo! Someday I'll drink this. <laughs> You're ready to sing. <laughs>